Now, after yesterday's heartbreaking and senseless slaughter in Afghanistan, one thing has been made clear. The policies set forth by the Socialist Party and their leader are causing immense pain, poverty, and death. Electing socialists puts the USA in crisis. That's the reality we confront in tonight's preamble. I first want to address a thoughtful note that was sent to me by a person identifying themselves as a conservative Republican concerning yesterday's preamble. The emailer was fine with me calling out the anti-Americanism of the left-wing party. But exception was taken when I said that the Republican Party was even more to blame allowing the Democrat actions to go unpunished. I thought about it, and the viewer was right. As a person who prides himself on saying what I mean and meaning what I say in an effort to communicate concepts, I should have been clearer. It is true that every conservative in elected office is a Republican. It is also true that not every Republican in office is a conservative. There was a time in our history when those two terms were synonymous. Not anymore. A favorite example of mine is, if Adam Crying Kinsinger can be a Republican and so can Ted Cruz, what the hell does it mean to be a Republican? In other words, the term Republican is meaningless because Republicans have no unifying principles. They can't even come together to oppose socialism, open borders, runaway pandemic caused by those open borders, and the most humiliating United States foreign policy defeat in the modern era. Now, that's not to say that conservatives are not standing up. They are. Because the word conservative has meaning. Conservatives look at their jobs as opposing socialism and all the harm it causes their constituents. But not all Republicans feel that way. Now, on the flip side, the terms socialist and Democrat, they, well, with rare exceptions, they are synonymous. They unify to destroy America. But the GOP can't unite to save America because the only conservatives, well, only conservatives are in the fight. Let me show you some examples of Republicans who have abandoned us to the ravages of Joe Biden and his leftist charlatans. You know the names. Romney, Murkowski, Kinsinger, Upton, Sass, Cassidy. You get the idea. There, there are many more. Too many, frankly. If the GOP had a unifying set of values, the entire party would have already organized an appearance on the Capitol Hill steps, locked arm in arm, demanding justice for those harmed by Biden's policies in Afghanistan, the border, and in the economy. But only the conservatives are fighting for the rule of law, the Constitution. Uh, well, that's because conservatives universally actually believe in those things. <laughs> Let me put this another way. One of the fighters, Congressman Jim Banks, he detailed Biden's Build Back Better program for the Taliban. That due to the negligence of this administration, the Taliban now has access to over $85 billion worth of American military equipment. That includes 75,000 vehicles, over 200 airplanes and helicopters, over 600,000 small arms and light weapons. The Taliban now has more Black Hawk helicopters than 85% of the countries in the world. But they don't just have weapons. They also have night vision goggles, body armor, medical supplies, and unbelievably, unfathomable, unfathomable to me and so many others, is that the Taliban now has biometric devices which have the fingerprints, eye scans, and the biographical information of the Afghans who helped us over the last 20 years. Mm, 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 mm. Now, if the GOP were universally conservative, every politician calling themselves a Republican would be filing articles of impeachment and or calling for Biden to resign, united in one voice. But only the conservatives care that Biden is arming terrorists and America's enemies with taxpayer-funded technology that will be used down the line to kill Americans. Here's another glittering example of a Republican who isn't a conservative. Well-known never-Trumper, Republican Bill Kristol, a man who has spent his career writing about conservatism, but apparently dreading its implementation in government, is endorsing the party that is arming our enemies. Crystal is supporting the party of defunding the police, open borders that cause the pandemic to rage out of control and causes, by the way, the destruction of Latino communities in Texas. Crystal is supporting the party that prioritizes Afghan citizens being evacuated out of Afghanistan before American citizens. 
Crystal supports the party covering up for China and the virus. It so benevolently and purposely gifted the world. Mr. Crystal is a member in good standing of the GOP, but he's no conservative. Yesterday, Peter Ducey asked a question of Joe Biden, and as this question was being posed, Biden struck this pose. Now, that's the look of a man who's finally caught. That's the look of a man who has spent his life never hanging or having an original thought, having plagiarized every moment of greatness he's ever known. That's the look of a man who's been wrong on every major foreign policy over the last half century. That's the look of a man who's discovered that the sickos and the biased press can no longer cover up for his incompetence. But Ben Sass, Mitt Romney, crying Kinsinger, and Liz Cheney, they remain unable or unwilling to fight this feckless and dangerous man. They're too busy fighting the war against mean tweets. Many are saying that that picture defines the Biden occupation of the Oval Office, and I can see their point. But might I offer another suggestion? In an exclusive, The Chris Alcedo Show has obtained one of the front runners to be, well, Joe Biden's official White House portrait. We think this photo encapsulates not only the sum total of Biden, but of his entire political party, a party that turns its back on our laws, turns its back on the Constitution, turns its back on the American people. And in truth, you know, that really is Biden's best side anyway. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.